Hi there, welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths, a call for Maths A level video, and it's the third one on the binomial theorem where we deal with just slightly more complicated examples. For more help with your maths, GCSE or A level, do see YouTube, Twitter, or Google. Okay, to start with, looking at the scheme of work, this is for the LXL, but it's applicable to most other boards, and what we've done in the last video is we've done the binomial series for any n, but what we haven't really talked about is how to use this to expand something of the form ax plus b to the power of n. Okay, so we're going to do that in this particular video. The video after that, we're going to deal with this sentence here about expanding rational functions by decomposing them into partial fractions, but this is this video. Okay, so here's an example. Find the force first four terms of this um, here, the square root of 4 plus x. Now, in the previous video, we did things a bit like this to the power of half, but remember something very important. To expand this via the binomial theorem, that first number must be 1. It must be 1. We've got 4, so we need to make an initial adjustment. So firstly, we could write this, couldn't we, as 4 plus x to the power of a half, couldn't we? And then what we could do, we could actually factorise the 4 out of here and write that as 1 plus x over 4. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking this and I'm just factorising out 4, and then all of that, is to the power of a half. Okay, now think why this works. If I remultiply this bracket, I get 4 plus x to the power of a half. Now it has the one number that I so desperately need. Here, this one matches this one, and I could expand this binomially. Now, by the power of indices, this is 4 to the half, 1 plus x over 4 to the half. 4 to the half is obviously 2. Now, it requires a little bit of working to get there, but now we're in a perfect position to find the binomial expansion. Okay, so therefore, let's start on a new line for this and say that 2, 1 plus x over 4 to the half. Let's find the first four terms. Now, let's keep this 2 here out of action. Okay, let's keep it outside some big brackets. Don't try and do everything once. So keep that 2 there. And let's do an expansion of 1 plus x over 4 to the half. I'll get 1 plus nx, which would be a half x over 4. Remember, this is now acting as our x. Plus a half, negative a half, over 2 factorial, x over 4 squared, plus a half, multiplied by minus a half, multiplied by minus 3 over 2, all over 3 factorial, x over 4 cubed. And we'll stop there because 1 term, 2 term, 3 term, 4 terms, plus dot, 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 and close those brackets. Now let's tidy this up. Let's not deal with the 2 currently. Let's just tidy up before the 2. That would be 1. These two multiplied will be x over 8. What would we get here? Well, we get a half. We get a half multiplied by minus a half. A negative a half. Okay, and we get divided by 2, and we'd also have to times that by a sixteenth. So we get negative uh, 128 x squared. And we get here, or I could have written this, by the way, I should have just kept it consistent as a half, uh, an eighth x, just to keep it the way I'm writing the others. And here, what, we, what would we get? Well, we have a half multiplied by negative a half, multiplied by negative 3 over 2, and then we get that divided by 3 factorial. So all of this gets divided by 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6.
And then we'd have to multiply that by a, a quarter cubed. We get ourselves for this uh, positive, uh, the minus and the minus become positive, 1 over 1024x to the power of 3. Now let's tidy up by multiplying by that, that 2 then. We'd have 2, 2 times an eighth is a quarter, so we'd have 2 plus a quarter x. 2 times this would be a negative 1 over 64x squared, and 2 times this would be uh, 1 over uh, 512x cubed, dot, dot, dot. Now when we write something like this out, this is the, therefore the square root of 4 plus x, when we write something like this out, it is absolutely vital that we state the values of x for which this is true. Otherwise, you don't get the marks. Now, look at our expansion. What we were expanding was this thing here, and we know we can only use the binomial theorem when this here, the modulus of it, is less than 1. So we need the modulus of this. So we state 4. The modulus of x over 4 is less than 1. And that's the same thing as the modulus of four. Is uh, the modulus of x is less than four, multiplying up by the four. You must do this. I want to alert to yourself. If you don't do this, you are losing marks. You must do this as well as the algebra. Okay, one more example then. You might want to have a go at this yourself, um, but I'll go through this in five seconds. Okay, firstly, let's write this binomially or index form. This would be 2 plus 3x to the power of negative 2. Now if I'm expanding this, I know I've got to use the binomial theorem, I know I have to make this number here 1, or I can't use the binomial theorem. So this would be, I'm going to factorise out that 2, okay, that's what you get, okay? Now, breaking that up, that's 2 to the power of minus 2, and 1 plus 3 over 2x to the power of minus 2. And 2 to the power of minus 2 is a quarter. So this is a quarter, 1 plus 3 over 2x to the power of minus 2. Okay, so we've got something in the right form now. So if I want to expand this, I'm going to be expanding the quarter, 1 plus 3 over 2x to the power of minus 2. Keep the quarter out of action and do the expansion for the first four terms of this here. So we have 1 plus n, which is negative 2, multiplied by what our x is, which is 3 over 2x, plus negative 2, negative 3 over 2 factorial, 3 over 2x squared plus negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, over 3 factorial, 3 over 2x cubed, plus dot, dot, dot. Again, it's just a tidy up game from here. Keep the quarter out of action for now. This would be 1. This times this would be negative 3x. Okay, then this times this would be positive 6 over 2, which is 3, and then times by 3 over 2 squared, so 3 times... 9 over 4 will end up being, is 27 over 4, so you get plus 27 over 4x squared. And all these times, minus 2 times minus 3 is 6, times minus 4 is minus 24. Uh, minus 24 divided by 3 factorial, which is 6, is negative 4. So you'd have negative 4 multiplied by uh, 3 over 2 to the power of 3. And you get for that negative 27 over 2x cubed plus dot dot dot. Okay, so we're nearly there. Let's just uh, multiply in by this quarter just to absolutely tidy up. So we'd have a quarter times everything. A quarter subtract 3 quarters x plus 27 over 4 times a quarter is 27 over 16x squared minus and then 27 over 2 multiplied by a quarter 
is 27 over 8. So it'd be subtract 27 over 8 x cubed plus dot dot dot. And we're done. Now, have we forgotten anything? <coughs> well, it's vitally important to state for which x this is valid. Do not forget that. We know our binomial theorem is valid only when the modulus of this thing here is less than 1. So for this to be true, we need that the modulus of 3, x, uh, 3 over 2x is less than 1. Okay, so uh, times in both sides by 2 thirds, you therefore need the modulus of x to be less than 2 thirds. And you must state that to get your marks. Okay, and that's all for this particular video. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to read chapter 3, page 29 to 31, and complete exercise 3b. There will be one more video on binomial theorem, and then we'll finish the course uh, on that topic. Thank you for watching.